already talking, we've already been talking about the kind of bi-directional relationship between the brain and the body, um, but I wanted to kind of talk a little bit more about that on this point of, you know, the older paradigm, because it seems to me that one of the, um, one of the features of that is this idea that, you know, um, uh, dealing with anxiety has gener generally been a kind of top-down approach, you know, address anxiety consciously or cognitively, and that will then, you know, have a reverberating effect downward into the body. Whereas, you know, a lot of what is featured in your work is this idea that, you know, not to negate that, but also to include the other direction yeah. um, from the body upward. So can you talk a little bit about that? I think what you're saying is really totally on target because we have basically, we're blaming people for being anxious right. and we're saying, you should be able to control that. Yeah. But if we shifted the paradigm and said, uh, your body is being triggered. And if we now utilize an understanding of polyvagal theory, we would say, how do we trigger the body to feel safe? Yes. Okay, if we trigger it to feel safe based on polyvagal principles, the safety is going to now override the defensive uh, activity. So, uh, the, so it's just like watching a little baby who's crying and then the mother just kind of like sings a lullaby to the baby and suddenly the tears dry up the baby becomes relaxed and falls asleep in the arms of the mother. So the mother is giving the child cues uh, to trigger a neuroception of trust and safety and those, those states are incompatible with being defensive. Or if we think of anxiety as merely resting on a physiological state of defensiveness. Yeah. So if we shift anxiety from you're anxious, you have no reason to be anxious, like many people will say, to say, I, I see that your body is responding to the context of this environment. I hate to be so you know, wordy about this, but it's <laughs> reacting to this. Yeah. And uh, what can we do that makes your body feel more safe? Let's take this as a homework problem. Do I like being in quieter rooms? Do I like having time by myself? Or do I like someone looking at me and smiling at me or holding my hand? Or do I like my dog? And so if I'm with my dog, do I suddenly feel safe? So what we're saying is how can our bodies recruit uh, this newer circuit to make us feel calm? And what are the triggers for that? And what I always say is that because of neuroception is out of our out of our really awareness, we often get fooled, but we are never fooled by our body's reaction. So right. our body is so powerful when it reacts. Often for many people, they don't know why it's reacting. So they look at the person across from them and they say, you're the cause. Mm -hmm. and, and the real issue is that they had a bad day, they had this, they have a stomach ache or something else. And their threshold to be reactive is much lower. And a neutral type of stimulus, given their physiological state, their body reacted to a neutral input in a very uh, conservative way, meaning they interpret neutral, neutral cues as if they were hurtful. And I think we've all had those experiences where you've said something to a friend, and that friend just blows up and says, why are you saying that? And you could have said that to the person the day before or a few hours before, and there'd be no problem. Mm. So there's a retuning uh, based on our physiological state of what cues will then lead to defensiveness.